And welcome to this edition of Hashtag Vlog, which is not going to be a walk and talk because it is snowing in April. Okay, here we go. So you know those people, and I'm sure you do because we all have them in our lives, that are just doom and gloom. These are the people that come up to you in the morning and say things like, Hey, did you hear what the president did yesterday? Did you hear what my favorite radio talk show host said this morning? He was so right. Did you see online what happened in the Middle East yesterday? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she hates me. They like to debate. They like to argue. They like to vent with people that are like-minded like them. And they always hate the current president. Doesn't matter who it is. Always. Now the caveat is I'm not just talking about people that are pessimistic. People that are doom and gloom are often pessimists, but not all pessimists are doom and gloom. Some people just always have bad news. And because I'm a Christian, a lot of the people that I know that are like this are Christians because most of the people that I know are Christians. And I just want to look at them and say, where the heck is your faith? My God is bigger then whatever current tragedy is going on. So, get it together. Now, yes, I am an optimist. I like to dwell on, you know, the happy and the beautiful and the romantic, but I do not bury my head in the sand. I understand that bad things go on in the world, but I'm going to choose to not dwell on how bad it is. Instead, I'm going to choose to dwell on the beautiful things and the way that we react to it. Because my Bible says whatever is true, whatever is noble, right, pure, if there's anything lovely or admirable, think about these things. It's a whole buzzard and humming bee scenario. Both of those birds go out looking for something and they both find it. The buzzard goes out looking for dead things and the hummingbird goes out looking for sweet nectar. They both find what they're looking for. You are going to find what you're looking for. If you're looking for the evil and the bad and the sadistic, then you're going to find it. But if you're looking for the beautiful and the helpers in the world, then you're going to find them as well. There's too much good and beauty in the world for me to go around saying that it's the end of the world every time something bad happens. And yes, maybe I'm not as prepared for a crisis as the person who has their conceal and carry or the person who has taken martial arts their whole life. But guess what? If I die, I'm going to a better place. So I'm not really worried about it. If I don't die, I'm going to do everything I can to help the people around me. And it's going to be okay. It's snowing in April. What is up with that? There you go. P.S. I'm going to give you a quick ad for three things that are going on in my world. The first one being that it's almost the end of April and I was hoping to have 50 subscribers in April and we didn't get that so far. So we, I don't know what we need to do, but we need to do it. Second of all, uh, the year two of Project Nerdy has launched this week. There's doing some things different, so if you haven't checked them out, I'm going to put a link in the description. You totally should. And the third thing is, for those of you that are on Twitter, um, my friend Taylor Katz and I are doing this thing called Confused Movie Goer, where basically we take the plot of a movie and turn it on its head and turn it into a tweet, and they're really funny. I think they're really funny. You should check them out on my Twitter, and I've retweeted a lot of his, so um, check that out. Oh, and the fourth thing is, I am still not really understanding Tumblr. So some of you have said, hey, follow me on Tumblr. If you could do us all a favor and comment with a link to your Tumblr, or send me a tweet with a link to your Tumblr, that would be great, because I don't understand how to find people on that thing. It's great and confusing all at the same time. Also, my coffee mug is a bowl of fruit. So that was actually five things, but I know. So today's video is going to be a walk and talk, because apparently that's a thing, and in the interest of trying all of the popular things, I'm going to wait a second. It is snowing in March.
What month is this? At least snowing. Another time. We'll walk and talk another time. I promise.